Hey y'all, my name's Jeff Van Vost and we are kicking it Van Vost style. Life is a journey, not a destination. So come on, take that journey with us. You know, I've talked a little bit about uh, it being wintertime and right now I'm at My Sticks and Bricks. We have had a lot of projects going on and one of the things that we had to get done was to uh, get our inverter charger changed out. Uh, had a Freedom 486-20D, and we actually bought a Magnum Energy uh, charger, inverter charger, and we're going to change that out. I have been waiting on this because it's been back-ordered, and I cannot wait to get this thing in, and I finally have uh, complete power again in my RV. Y'all, we want to thank you for watching us. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do that right now. There's a subscribe button down below. Go ahead and hit subscribe. We're trying to hit that 1,000 viewer mark and 4,000 hours watched. Uh, we need you to help us out with that. So go ahead and do that now. Give us a like if you like what you're seeing and leave us a comment. Uh, we love, love reading comments uh, and I want to thank you. You know what? It may not be a great comment and you might want to give us some, some pointers of, hey, you're doing this, we want to see more of this, or you're doing it this way, we want to see it done this way, um, or that way, please please leave us a comment and let us know. And go ahead and ring the bell. Ringing that bell lets you know that once you're subscribed, uh, it, the next video that we have coming out, that uh, you'll, you'll be notified of that and you won't miss a single thing. Thank you again, we appreciate it. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thanks. We really appreciate you. So I just got a message from UPS that uh, our package with our inverter chargers here. So I'm about to go out and take a look because I've been waiting quite some time for this and I'm pretty excited. Bad news is here in uh, home base it is kind of rainy, kind of cool. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get it installed today. But it's here, finally. I've been waiting. It's been on back order. About to go out and take a look. I'll show you what's inside the box. So this is from Magnum Energy, and we're trading out our uh, our Freedom uh, with a Magnum. Uh, got online, looked at some reviews. Uh, this particular inverter charger has gotten some really, really good reviews. So um, hopefully this takes care of our problem. I believe it should. Uh, and uh, we'll get it installed and I'll walk you all the way through it. But I'm really excited to, uh, to finally get this. Okay, gang, I'm going to give, give you a kind of a brief update of what's gone on. Now, if you've watched our video on the RV batteries aren't charging, uh, then that kind of brings you up. If not, I'm going to leave a uh, card and a description down below. Go back and watch that video, and that'll kind of tell you where we're at right now. Plugged in shore power, got everything up and running, <laughs> wasn't fixed. Uh, was not getting any type of an AC input and was not getting any type of a charge. So... DIY. Um, I got in and started scratching my head, hit the forums, uh, checked with a neighbor uh, of mine, and this is the solution that we came up with. First off, probably something that I should have checked many times before, didn't you know to, to, to our viewers. Uh, if you've got batteries, house batteries, uh, and they are not maintenance free, make sure that you're testing your water. Because when I opened up my battery cap, uh, it was actually one battery, which was the interstate battery, uh, was completely bone dry. Uh, one of the other ones had the cells showing uh, without water, just a little bit of water in it. And so we took some distilled water and filled those up just to see if the batteries, if we could 
uh, revive them. Uh, we put a charge on it. It's not doing it. Moral of the story, check your water. Make sure you're checking your water. The other thing, uh, and I'm going to replace actually all four batteries today. Uh, that should solve my problem. Um, because the batteries weren't holding a charge. I could take and start up the RV and it would actually charge up the batteries, of course, with the alternator. As soon as I turn the RV off, um, then the, the, the battery charge just went completely down. The only thing that we're not replacing that I, that I think is still good is, of course, our inverter. I, I believe that the inverter is still good. Okay, so we've got our batteries in. Um, I'm still not showing shore power. And, and kind of let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. So right now, I've got the batteries hooked up. We've got a good charge. Uh, all the batteries are, of course, new. Come on, control. You can see that we've got the inverter light, our battery light, and then what we're drawing right now, which I don't have really anything on except for the light. Um, normally, when I would have shore power, this LED would light up, which is my uh, AC input. Um, and, and I'm not getting that. I've, I've said it before, uh, I am not an electrician. Um, I should probably learn more. In fact, I had a very expensive lesson today uh, called a mobile uh, RV. And very nice guy, Cliff from uh, uh, Hart RV Repair uh, here in Dallas. He came out and kind of gave me a schooling of what I need to be looking for the next time or if I were to have this problem again and uh, what all that entails. We know this, from shore power coming in, we are getting shore power coming in. Uh, we're getting that electrical current. We check the relay box. From the relays, we are getting shore power through the relay box. The N and we're getting it going back out, going to uh, the motor coach. We then came over to the inverter, which we've spent a lot of time with, and I've showed you pictures with, um, or video with, and that's where our problem lies. It is the inverter. I do have a bad inverter. So what it's doing is it is actually getting power in, but it's not allowing power to go back out and charge. Now it's kind of dark in here. Um, we've got the inverter charger. Uh, it's actually ready to go. I've got to disconnect uh, the old Freedom and then we'll connect the, um, the new one. Uh, it's pretty straightforward from what I've talked to with the manufacturer and then looking over the instructions. Uh, this should be nothing more than plug and play. And we also got a new control panel. Here, so the first thing that I did is I unplugged everything. Uh, about to go down and disconnect the batteries and uh, all the breakers. I, I went ahead and switched them off. That way when we get everything installed, I can bring it up slowly and it's not all at one time. So anyway, let's take you on the journey and uh, get this thing installed. One thing that I did uh, when we originally uh, replaced all the batteries, uh, I took pictures of how everything was uh, mounted. Uh, we've done the same thing with this. Uh, that kind of gives us a indication of where everything goes back to. This is our setup right now, and we've actually been using this little uh, this little Intelli power uh, to kind of charge the batteries since uh, our inverter charger was out. Uh, that's our battery bank. We're going to disconnect our positive and negative. That way, we don't get any type of spark you know, when removing the. Uh, Hey y'all, my plan was to actually show you what we did as far as changing out these uh, inverter chargers. We got it yesterday, was running low on light, uh, was trying to beat the light. Also, we had rain coming in and I was trying to beat the rain. So I didn't, uh, I didn't get to show you that. But I'm going to go step by step what we did, how we did it, let you learn a little bit from, from this video. Now, we took our Freedom 486-20D um, with the heart interface out of our 1999 National Trade Winds uh, 7370 motor, motor coach. 
We took that out for the simple reason the inverter stopped working. If you had watched our other video where we said the RV batteries weren't charging, um, and I'll put a link to that down below, uh, we were certainly having issues uh, with that. The way that I counteracted that was, or to get me through, because we had a month-long trip uh, planned, and we didn't get everything diagnosed until a couple of days before we were about to leave. I could not get another inverter, so we took a basically a, a, a power charger and put on our batteries and then hooked that up to wherever we had shore power or I, if we had to use the generator I could hook it up and, and utilize it on the generator and that kept my batteries charged. Of course all my lights and all my receptacles worked but they were coming off of battery power and to, to charge those batteries back up whenever we use them um, I just used the uh, the power charger. Back to the change out of the inverter. So we had the 48620D Freedom and we changed out with, uh, after a lot of research and reading a lot of forums and a lot of comments, we changed out with the Magnum Energy MS Series 2012-20B and I'll leave a link to all this uh, down below. Uh, first off, I'll tell you this, it's a looks like a bigger unit, but it's a lot lighter than what the Freedom is, uh, which is great because again we're in a motorhome and I'm I'm looking at weight, so it is a little bit lighter. Uh, everything that uh, that we did was pretty much plug and play. When you go online to order this, uh, it will give you a schematic of taking the Freedom inverter charger and transferring it over to the Magnum uh, MS series char uh, inverter charger. It's very simple. The owner's manual uh, that came with it was uh, very, very, very good. Uh, you can see it's, it's, it's got a lot of good information here. Uh, we also bought and changed out the panel, uh, and I'll show you a picture of that here in just a second. Uh, that may be coming up right now. But that panel that we changed out with on the uh, the heart interface uh, is what we had in the coach. We changed it out with the Magnum uh, Energy uh, panel. And uh, this panel, and it said it would fit right in. And you can use your existing uh, uh, remote cable that's already run uh, down to your, um, to your inverter box. Uh, it's already run there, and you can plug that straight in, plug it straight into your panel, and, uh, and you're good to go. It fit right in the wall get a meter. Um, I came to a point where I didn't, once we took the uh, the Freedom out, the only issue that I had was in coming into the coach for shore power for my AC in and AC outs going to my breakers. I didn't know what hot was and I didn't know what ground was and I didn't know what my neutral wire was. Um, remember this, if you're watching and you're having the same problem or same issue Black is your hot, white is your neutral, and there's a copper wire, it's not green, that is your, your ground wire. I hope that helps you. <laughs> I wish I'd have had me telling me that. We'll see that here in just a second. The, uh, the remote panel that we put in um, from Magnum does so much more than what the, uh, the heart... Uh, the heart interface panel does. Um, it's it's a great panel. It's digital, um, as you can see. I'm really glad that I went ahead because I could have actually, and they said I could have used my my uh, heart interface panel, but they recommended that we get the the Magnum panel, and I and I'm glad that I went ahead and did that. So, guys, what I'm showing you is the back of the uh, the Freedom panel, and what you're looking at on the plus and on the negative. This is coming in from the battery. So there's your plus coming in from your positive coming in from the battery, your plus. Your positive coming in from your battery and then your negative coming in from your battery. We, re we took those off or I took those off and set them to the side. Uh, also I had all before I did anything we cut power completely. I turned the breakers off, connected, uh, disconnected from shore power uh, I disconnected our batteries 
uh, positive and negative before we touched anything. Please make sure and note that you do the same thing or you will electrocute yourself. Guys, I'm gonna remove the top and kind of show you because coming in, this is your positive coming in uh, from your battery. This actually came in and hooked up right here. So when you, when you disconnect, you're gonna need to open this top up because once you unscrew this, it's not gonna just pull right out. Open your top up, come in, and there's your disconnect for your positive. The negative was a little bit different. So here's on your negative coming in, and it's at the bottom. So the top is off, and I wanna show you, and you can see that this is bent back a little bit because I couldn't see to get in here. You don't have to remove this board, and I thought you did. I mean, I removed all kinds of things. I removed this, I couldn't get the board out, I removed all the screws that were long. This is hooked in just like this with a screw. You're, you're back here underneath, on the other side of this board, is where your negative is coming in here, runs on the opposite side of this board back here, and then it hooks in right here. So all you need to do is remove this screw that, that was here, remove that, this will fall down, and your negative will be able to be pulled right back out through here. And you won't have to bend this, you won't have to worry about trying to get this board out, disconnecting this, disconnecting that. Uh, it's very simple if I had just really kind of sat down and, and thought about it and not tried to get in a hurry. This is the bottom of the, uh, the Freedom and your ACs in and out will go, come in here. And they're, uh, they're white wires corded together. It'll have your white, your copper, and your black all together. It, you'll have one coming in, one coming in, one coming in. What I did was I took a Sharpie and before I disconnected, I actually wrote down what they were as far as AC in, AC out one, AC out two. Reason being, once you take those out, you're not gonna know which is which. So, good idea, write that down because you'll need that information when you start going back into the Magnum inverter charger. I showed you the underneath where those AC in, AC out, AC output are. This is the front. There's actually a panel that goes across here. You'll unscrew that. These wires are all tucked in and they're pigtailed with the AC input, the AC output, and the AC output. All you're gonna do is unpigtail those. These go to the, to the power, to the inverter. As you can see, I don't need these anymore. And then I pulled the wires straight out from underneath and as we had said before, we marked those as to what they were. And now we are basically done with this unit. We can take it out and we get ready to put our Magnum in. Well, as you can see, we're still fighting a uh, kind of a cool rainy day, but uh, this is what we were trying to hurry and get done uh, before the rain came in, plus we were losing light. All right, we're back at the uh, the inverter and the battery bays, and I'm gonna show you this system and uh, kind of show you what we did as far as when we took the unit out, we're done, and now we're gonna put this unit back in and hook everything up. Guys, this is our Magnum, and like I said, it's a little bit bigger than what the Freedom is, but it weighs a little less. So, and I'm gonna try and do this without taking everything out uh, of the bay and show you what we did. So you remember we talked about our, coming from our batteries, uh, the positive and the negative, and you can see the red, that's our positive hooked up, and then our black right there, that's our negative hooked up. Those are coming from the batteries. Then we have our AC's inputs and outputs. And what those do is, uh, I was trying to find one that we had marked and I would show you how I did it, but you know what? Uh, I don't see it, but those were marked with a Sharpie on these, on the white part, to let me know what was what. Because like I said, once you take those out, you're not gonna know. So we brought those in, and you can see here, 
our wires are, are, are set up coming in. Uh, the white being our, uh, our, our, our grounds, uh, I'm sorry, our neutrals, the black being the hot wire, and then our copper wire, if I can get a shot of it, our copper wire is, the, uh, is our ground. Now all the grounds go in together into that ground. And then you just follow your schematic uh, that Magnum sends you, um, and that'll it'll walk you straight through what you need to do as far as setting this up. Now you are on a single in dual out is uh, what you're going to be looking for because it has a different different schematics. The way that our setup is, we are a single in dual out, and you just follow that. The only thing that we didn't do, um, and we were we were kind of scratching our heads a little bit because it showed on the end um, for the ACN or hot, uh, it showed two hots, one going into hot one and then a pigtail going into hot two. Well, we didn't have that on the Freedom and we elected not to do that. I actually called Magnum and they said, no, if you don't have one, then there's no reason to pigtail it. Uh, if you are charging your batteries, you want to make sure your hot wire, your ACN hot, is going into uh, your ACN hot one, number one. To be honest with you, uh, this was a very, very easy plug-and-play type operation. Um, one of the reasons that, that we had went with this uh, is every comment that I read said how much quieter, it's lighter, um, it's more efficient uh, on the Magnum than what the Freedom was, uh, and it was plug and play. That there was really nothing you had to do to make this system work versus the Freedom. So we were glad about that, and, and that's the reason that we went with it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it answered some questions. There is not a lot of information on the motorhome that I that I have. Number one, it's a 1999. Uh, it's a National RV, which National made some very, very good motor coaches. Uh, they are out of business now, and there's not, you can't, uh, you can still get parts. Uh, it's limited, but a lot of the information is just not there, and uh, I hate that. So, that was the reason that we, uh, that I wanted to do this video and show you how easy if you're having uh, an issue with your inverter, how easy it is to get it changed out. Guys, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've had issues. Tell me if you've got a uh, if you've got a national RV. Oh, leave me a comment. Give me give me a like. Ring the bell. That way you know about the next uh, video that we have coming up. And uh, I appreciate you subscribing. For those that have already subscribed to our channel, thank you so much. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.